All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So as the title says, this is my first impressions of the OnePlus 3T. Now you're probably wondering, Jay, why did you get the OnePlus 3T so late in the game? Late in the game? Well, the OnePlus 5 is coming, and I wanted to get my experiences with the OnePlus 3T first. Now, I did review the OnePlus 3 a while back, so you already got, you guys know I already like that phone a lot. I think it's very impressive. So ultimately, ultimately what we're looking at here is just a spec bump. Uh, you have 16 megapixels on the front now, opposed to the 8 that was on the OnePlus 3. And now uh, you still have a 16 megapixel on the back with some enhancements, supposedly. We'll take a look at the camera as well. And then um, you still have that same great body, just in a different color. That's it. But I still feel like the OnePlus 3T can... Um, take out several phones that are out there, especially in the camera department and performance. Now, you guys know I'm also a fan of stock Android. And with the OnePlus 3T, I'm pretty much getting that right out of the box with customizations that I could actually do without adding any enhancements like Nova Launcher and things like that, which is something I really like about this phone. Now, let's take a look at the hardware on here. Let's get a closer look. So if you like the OnePlus 3, you basically like the OnePlus 3T. You still have that 16 megapixel camera with a little bit of hump there, which doesn't bother me at all because I have tons of cases for this phone already. You've got those antenna lines and this darker gunmetal gray look or space gray look, it's actually pretty nice. The uh, hardware on the OnePlus 3T is just like the OnePlus 3. And you guys know that I really like the hardware uh, on the OnePlus 3. Uh, so they basically capitalized on it and that was a good smart move. Now you do have a textured uh, volume or mute switch right here, as you can see here. I really like that. I wish more phones had that. You know, that's one great thing about the iPhones. I can control things with just a switch instead of going into settings. I think OnePlus did a great job by keeping this design. I don't know about the OnePlus 5, but we will see shortly. Now, volume rocker is still the same. Front glass is a 5.5 inch AMOLED display. As you can see here, I do have a black wallpaper just to try to capitalize on battery. And if it's anything like the battery that I got on the OnePlus 3, I think this one is going to be even better because this has a 3400 milliamp hour battery inside opposed to the 3000 that was in the OnePlus 3. So I'm looking to get some really good battery. I could actually pull down eight hours or seven and a half hours of screen on time with the OnePlus 3. So I'm really hoping that this one does the same. Now, when it comes to software, this thing definitely, definitely is smooth. It has six gigs of RAM built in and coupled with the Snapdragon 821, I think it's definitely going to be a solid performer. Now, when I talked about the cameras earlier, uh, it's time to show you just a quick sample footage of the cameras from the front and rear on the OnePlus 3T. Let's get into it. Now shooting video at 1080p at 60 frames per second on the OnePlus 3T is nothing short of fantastic. Uh, as I pan around here, you can kind of see how this phone handles this type of footage. It does have optical image stabilization. And I just feel like the footage on here is just flat out great. Sometimes when phones pass by or you don't get them, you often wonder, why didn't I get that sooner? Let's take a walk downstairs. Now, if optical image stabilization is something that's important to you, no, this phone does have it, but it's not a requirement of me. So let's zoom here, focus, and you can see how it does handle the focusing. Now the front camera on the OnePlus 3 also shoots very good footage. I don't think you'll be disappointed with either of the cameras on this thing. So I think I'm actually going to have a great experience with this phone. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, picking up the OnePlus 3T, some people might say, oh, you shouldn't have done that. But I'm a reviewer, so and I'm also willing to wait uh, and let everybody else kind of pan through and, and experience all the bugs, if possible, sometimes with certain devices. Now, um, a while back, I wanted to get the black OnePlus 3T, but, you know, 
I missed it, didn't pull the trigger. And well, I tried to pull the trigger, but it just sold out really fast. But just having the OnePlus 3T in hand uh, in my time of using it, it's actually really solid, really smooth. I didn't expect anything less. More importantly, I'm really ready to compare the 16 megapixel camera on the front to several other phones that have high megapixel cameras on the front uh, and, and see how it, how it pans out. Um, this phone again does have a Snapdragon 821, six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs on bill storage, 7.1.1. And I am ready to put it through its paces. So what do you guys think? You think I'm going to like the OnePlus 3T? I think I am. Because based on what I'm seeing so far, um, I don't have my OnePlus 3 anymore. But the experience that I got on the OnePlus 3, like I said before, uh, is pretty much the same on here. And the fact that this phone has 6 gigs of RAM and it's running stock Android, you know, that's just one of those things that it should perform very well. It doesn't have an SD card or anything like that. But I can deal with 64 gigs on bill storage. So... OnePlus 3T. You'll see a follow-up video soon, maybe in a week or two. See how, how it's doing. Take care, guys.